We're here with Drew Dante from the James Madison Dukes. Drew, welcome to CA Football Media Day. Thank you very much. Now, last season, after finally getting your chance to, to become JMU's starting quarterback, your season came to an end after five games when you got injured against Richmond. How disappointing was that? And uh, kind of give us your status for this season. You back to 100%? Uh, yes, sir. You know, I'm back ready to roll. Uh, went through spring, no problems. Been through all the workouts this summer and uh, 100%. And uh, yeah, definitely last year was disappointing, uh, getting injured, and you know it stinks. You know having to stand on the sideline, watch, and you know you can't do anything about it. But um, you know you just got to face that adversity and move forward to this season. I'm really looking forward to it, and we've uh, had a great spring, great uh, summer workouts, and we're ready to roll. Good. Now you made your first career start up here at, uh, at Maryland last September and had a huge game. You ran for 112 yards and a touchdown, threw for 141 yards and two scores. Uh, what do you remember most about that game, and were you surprised at all at how well you were able to play in your first start? Yeah, definitely. You know, that was an exciting game, and you know, I grew up going to all the Maryland games, and you know, me and my dad used to come all the time. So, you know, being able to come out and make plays like that, um, you know, was definitely a confidence boost for me. Um, you know, obviously, I wish we won that game, but um, you know, you got to look at. You know, we went out there and we fought to the end, and you know, we played great, and um, you know, we have a lot of guys coming back from that team this year, and. Uh, you know, we're looking forward to uh, a great season. What's it say kind of about the quality of CA football when you guys took Maryland right to the wire and then, you know, Richmond beating Duke and William Mary beating Virginia last year? Kind of what does that say about the conference? Oh, yeah. I think last year, I think there was four teams in our conference that beat one A schools. And, um, you know, it just shows that our conference, you know, we're the powerhouse of one double A. And, uh, you know, every week, you know, there's no week off. You know, you just got to come out there and fight every week. And uh, definitely a lot of good teams in our conference. Now, last season, you split time at quarterback with Justin Thorpe, and after you got hurt, Justin went on to become the offensive rookie of the year in the league. Uh, are you and Justin supportive of each other, and how difficult was it to kind of split time in the two quarterback system? I mean, you know, I'm, I'm a competitive guy, and obviously, you know, I just want to be the guy and, you know, not share time. But, you know, Justin and I were very supportive of each other. You know, at practice, you know, watching film, you know, we help each other out and pump each other up. And, um, you know, we, we're doing that this spring, too. You know, we're a team, and, uh, you know, I'm excited about Justin. You know, he's a great player, great athlete, and uh, he's going to be a great player for us this year and in the future as well. And you know, we just got to you know put that stuff aside when you know it comes to games and uh, you know just play as a team. Now, you uh, you played behind Rodney Landers, who certainly was a great player in this league, and I assume he was sort of a, a mentor to you a little bit. How have you taken that experience? Maybe that uh, your relationship with you and Rodney and kind of transferred. To, now you're the older guy dealing with Justin. Oh yeah, you know Rodney and I we're still good friends. We talk all the time and. Uh, you know, I definitely learned a lot from him, and you know, I kind of try to take the same qualities that you know he installed in me, and try you know, you know, with Justin we're on the field, off the field, just you know, kind of try to have the same relationship, and I think uh, you know we're pretty close, pretty tight, and uh, you know I think that's going to help us out a lot this year. Now you guys have run a pretty wide open offense where you both get to run and throw the ball. Do you enjoy that as a quarterback, being able to kind of be in control of that offense where you've got a lot of options in your hands? Oh yeah, you know, coach always says you know the quarterback's the point guard of the offense, you know, JMU. And now, you know, every play you got the ball in your hands, you got to make a decision whether it's read the end or, you know, read the, read the defensive backs. And, you know, I like it. It allows us to make a lot of plays. And, you know, we're very strong up front and, you know, helps us out. And uh, got a lot of guy, good guys around us. So. Now, after making the playoffs for three years in a row, you guys slipped to 6-5 and five last season. Uh, has the desire to get back to the playoffs increased to the intensity of your offseason workouts at all? Oh, yeah. We've really come together as a team this offseason. Um, you know, I think that's very important. A lot of seniors have stepped up as, as uh, leaders of the team. Everyone's bought into the program, and you know, I think that's why we had a huge spring, you know, great spring practice. And uh, you know, again, we really just bought into the program, and you know, we really picked it up in the workouts. The strength coach, Coach Durning, has done a great job, and you know, all of our times are, are a little uh, faster now than you know last year, and we're really getting after it. So I think that's going to help us out a lot, you know, come uh, come the fall. Your dad, Mike, was a quarterback at JMU in the late 70s. And did you attend JMU games with him as you were growing up? And how much did he influence you coming to JMU? Yeah, we, uh, you know, we come to a few games, you know, growing up as a kid. And then, uh, you know, once the recruiting process started, you know, definitely started to come a lot more. And, uh, you know, he's been a big influence on my football career and my life, you know, as well as my mom. And, um, you know, I've learned a lot from him, you know, playing quarterback. He's taught me, you know, everything I need to know about throwing and everything like that. And, you know, he, he can critique me because, you know, he's only an hour and a half away, so he's at, he's at almost every Saturday practice, and uh, he'll let me know when he thinks I'm not doing my best. And, you know, it's just, uh, you know, it's just him being supportive and uh, trying to get the best out of me. And, uh, you know, I learn a lot from him, and uh, he's definitely been a huge influence on my career. As I was going to ask you, I mean, since he was also a quarterback, after games and stuff, how much does he 
critique you, or does he kind of wait uh, and kind of let the uh, emotions of the game wear off a little bit? Um, every game's different. Um, usually he's the first one to say, well, what were you thinking on, on this play or what were you doing on this play? And then he'll talk about the positive stuff. So usually uh, you know, brings up the uh, things that bothered him during the game and see what I thought about it. And, uh, but, you know, it's just him trying to, you know, get me better. And I remember in high school, you know, he used to wake me up sometimes and he'd be watching our games and ask me what I was doing on this play, that play. So, you know, it was nothing new. Um, you know, he's a great coach and a great dad. And, you know, uh, he's been very supportive throughout my career. Before I let you go, Jamie, uh, Bridgeport Stadium's gone a re undergone a renovation over, over the off season. How excited are you guys about uh, being out of there with the bigger crowds in the new stadium? Oh, it's going to be sweet, you know. Uh, the home side is really, you know, it's more kind of curved off and, uh, you know, a lot more seats. And it's going to be exciting, you know, come that first game against Moorhead State, you know, it's going to be a packed house. And, uh, you know, you know, it stinks that I won't be there for, you know, the full expansion in a few years. But I'm really looking forward to this season. And, uh, you know, our fans, we got the greatest fans in the nation. And, you know, they're behind our, us 100%. And I uh, really look forward to showing them a good season. Drew, thanks for joining us. Enjoy seeing football media today. Thank you very much.